Do you also want to get rid of getter setters, constructors, two string, and a lot of boilerplate code? Boilerplate code? What's that? The code which is repetitive in many parts of an application and is used for minor functionality. Well, Lombok is the solution. Lombok is a library which you can add to your projects and it will generate getter setters, constructors, two string, hash code methods, and a lot more automatically using simple annotations. But how do you use Lombok with popular IDEs while writing your code? In this video, we will understand installing Lombok in IntelliJ and Eclipse. Let's get started. Once you have IntelliJ open, click on File, Settings, Build Execution Deployment, Compiler, and then Annotation Processor. Click on Enable Annotation Processing. This is because Lombok works on annotations and you have to enable annotation processing for it to function properly. Also make sure that the option Obtain Processors from Class Path is selected so that the IDE will pick up Lombok from Class Path. Press OK. Next, we have to add a plugin to enable Lombok support. For this, again go to Settings. In Plugins, search for Lombok. There is a plugin from JetBrains only, who are the authors of IntelliJ also. Click on Install. This is installed. Again, OK. Support for Lombok is integrated into IntelliJ. Finally, we have to add a Lombok dependency in your project's build file, which is pom.xml if you use Maven and build.gradle if you use gradle. If you see this gradle project, here is Lombok's dependency and its type is annotation processor. This will add Lombok char to the class path from where IntelliJ will pick it up to display its annotations. Let's go to any class. Look, here comes an annotation from Lombok. Let's see how to do the same in Eclipse IDE. It is a bit different there and there are two ways to do this. First option is to run the Lombok jar and it will automatically install itself in Eclipse. To get Lombok's jar, go to Maven repository, search for Lombok and select its relevant version. We will go with the latest one. Here is an option to download the jar. Click on this to download. Open command prompt where you have downloaded the jar. Run the command java-jar lombok.jar to execute it. As soon as the jar is executed, it will display a window and search for all the Eclipse installation on your system. I have three different versions and this one has Lombok already installed. You can see the icon at the right. Check whichever Eclipse you have to install Lombok to. Click on install update button and it will be done. This will also update Lombok's version if you have an already installed older version and the jar is of newer version. Remember that these methods will also work on Spring Tool Suite or STS since it is also built on top of Eclipse. Let's look at the second way if you don't want to download the jar. Open Eclipse IDE, go to Help and install new software. Add the URL projectlombok.org slash p2 and click on add. This will ask you to provide a name to this repository. Let's name it Lombok only. Click add. Select Lombok and click next. This will fetch the details about what we are installing. It shows that we are installing Lombok. Click next. Accept the terms and click finish. It is now downloading and installing Lombok. You can check the progress by clicking here. This option is to verify if you trust the authors or origin of this software. Trust selected. Next, it will confirm whether you trust the signers of the certificate 
which is exchange during data transfer. Again, trust selected. Installation is complete. Restart IDE to take changes into effect. After the IDE is restarted, go to Help, About, scroll down. Here you can see Lombok is added. Now you need to add Lombok's dependency to the project's build file similar as we did earlier. And then you can use its annotations. That is all for this video and I will see you in the next one.